Hey there, this is Katherine Cartwright. Welcome. I'm sharing the Stamps of Life card kit greetings friend collection is the name of this. This is the February 2024 card kit and I'm just going to do a quick unboxing at the beginning and then I'm going to get busy making some cards. So you can see you get some stickers here and there's some embellishments. You get a paper pad, some word dies, um, those wood, little wooden uh, floral embellishments. So cute. Here are the word dies I mentioned. You get a paper pad. Here is this A1 mini scallop card die set that is included in the kit which makes this um, set a great value so you can make these adorable little cards i'm going to make one of those in this video you get some envelopes you get a storage envelope and you get some cardstock as well that will allow you to get busy creating your cards and i'm going to show you quickly the color palette here we've got some white cardstock this is powdered sugar we have lemonade a bright yellow that's one of my favorites We've got guava, bright pink, bubblegum, grape, and pixie, a lighter purple. So a really fun springy collection to take us into those spring months. And here is the paper pad. Again, it's called Greetings Friend. And I'm going to flip through this. You get 24 pieces of double-sided paper. And what's unique about these paper pads is they coordinate with the club set. This is the floral wreath set. And which is the club set for February. So if you've already received this, the stamp and dies. If you're a die hard member, then you have the dies that coordinate with this floral set. So you will be able to cut all of these florals out from the card kit using your dies. And I'm going to talk about that more in just a second. But I was just showing you that you get these three little floral dies, um, these solid images that will cut out these already pre printed colored flowers so pretty and then you have the wreath as well so a lot of fun to be had with this set let me finish showing you the rest of the paper pad so we've got some um, smaller wreaths here and some more of those flowers here's another page of the printed so that you can cut those apart using your dies i love the heart background that's one of my very favorite backgrounds and then there's the greetings written in there, and then it starts over again. Very high quality cardstock that allows you to make a lot of great fun projects. So I've already cut one of those out, but I wanted to show you there's an inner die. I didn't notice that initially um, when I opened up my package. And so I'm just going to spin this around and find the right spot for it. It's going to take me a second, but um, I think when I do these things on camera, it takes me so much longer than it does in person because then all of a sudden you see it and ah there it is um, so it's not hard to find there's only one way to cut with this it's not going to fit on there just right one way so i am going to tape this down because i want this to stay in place as it runs through my um, die cutting machine the die cutting machine has some pretty good pressure and so i want to make sure that my uh, die stays where i want it to and then this inner part I found that a little quicker this time and so I'm going to take another piece of tape and glue that down and so that will allow me to cut out the inside of my wreath so you have some flexibility here I'm going to take a sharpie marker and I am going to a permanent marker I am going to mark where these two line up so that will just kind of give me a reference point in the future of putting these together okay so now I'm going to run this through and you'll see that it cuts out the inside beautifully. There's some additional dies. You can see that little um, frame die on, the, on my mat that will allow you to cut out and leave kind of an embossed edge on your uh, paper. But I'm just using the shadow die in this case. Okay, there we go. So I've got that center part cut out. And now I'm going to show you a little bit on these solid flowers. So these are solid. There's not the outline die like I just showed you how I, you could see um, the inside of your um, wreath, so to speak. So this one you can't see as much. And so I am going to flip these over. And what I like to do with mine is I kind of take it to the side. And you can see when you look at it, you can see a little bit of where the correct side is so to speak so in this one if you're looking at this blue one on the right hand side I see the the arm on the right hand 
is a little bit longer. And so when I find that, I'm going to flip that over and, and adhere that down, put my tape on there. And I'm leaving um, the center. It's obviously open, but I'm trying to center, I should say, the dot, the colored dot in the middle. And again, I'm going to repeat this process on here. And then I'll just find that. And when I'm happy with it, I think most of the time I, I did it correctly. I think I had one initially that I didn't um, do correctly. But once you kind of get the hang of this, it goes pretty quickly. So I'm just flipping this around. And when I've found what I think is that edge on the kind of right hand side, there's a little bit of a difference on the petal, I should say. And now I can run this through my machine. So I just wanted to show you that is my process. I'm sure other people have other ways to do this. Now, if you were stamping them, what I like to do with a closed die like this is I like to cut this fl flower out and then put the flower back into the frame. So I would have put I would put that purple one back into where it came from and just pretend that's white. And then I would stamp, line my stamp up and stamp it with my stamp positioner. And then you would have the ability to continue to stamp a bunch of them in the same spot. You just cut out your image. Okay, so I've shown you that. So let's start with our card base. So I'm going to do five and a half and I'm going to do two and I think that's two and three quarters. I'll put the, I'm terrible with math. Um, so I'm taking that five and a half and cutting it apart, which I think should be two and three quarters. I'll write it in the description. I am not a math major at all and especially when I'm doing stuff on camera I can't ever see what I'm doing <laughs> so I'm going to trim down my um, I'm going to trim down a couple of pieces of pattern paper and I will put those measurements in there as well I cut them a little bit smaller than the card so I kind of have kind of a frame around there so again I'll list all of the measurements in the description box below the video so check that out so I've got these two cards so I wanted to make an easel card that's why I, I um, scored that one piece in half. I know that part went a little fast. And so now I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto my wreath that I cut and that the center is still in there. So again, you have a lot of flexibility and you can turn your wreath however you want to, whatever looks good to your eye. In my opinion, there's not a right or wrong way because it's a circle. It's just going to be a matter of preference for what you prefer. And so I like I like the ability to be able to do it the way I want to do it. I'm using some black ink here to stamp my just because, and it looks fantastic right in the middle of that wreath. And now I can glue down some of my little panel pieces for this easel. And you can see how this is starting to come together. So I'm going to run some liquid glue around my two pieces, and then I will add them on to the front of this card so you could easily make the, a bunch of these quickly using your paper pad um, to have little scraps and you can make them different sizes too if you wanted to if you wanted to do like strips or different kind of layers if you wanted to add a layer you would just make you know your top piece a little bit smaller okay and now I'm going to add some foam onto the back of my just because wreath and now I have an easel card just like that but I want to add a little bit more I'm going to take some of this ribbon this ribbon is beautiful it has a little kind of shimmer shine to it and that's on both sides and this ribbon is a little bit stiffer than some of the other ribbons um, I've had from Stamps of Life sometimes there's like an organza which is a little bit thinner this one has a good bit of body to it which I really like but of course I cut it too short because I never <laughs> really measure anything like I should and I cannot get this little tail uh, to cooperate because it's just too small there won't be anything left if I make the little bow so I have decided to abandon a full bow idea and I'm just going to trim my little tails down and pivot a little bit here to make this work still just as cute um, just don't have that big bow that I kind of wanted I'm going to take one of these wooden elements. I really loved these wooden elements. I think I used them on every card um, that I made in this video. I'm going to put a glue dot on there and then that will be my stopper to allow the recipient to hold up their little easel card. So cute. And then I'm going to add an epoxy dot from Stamps of Life from my craft stash. This is a previous card kit. I'm sure um, I keep those in a little package. 
and I'm just going to add one of them onto my card and it has that beautiful glitter element. If you can believe it, um, I am not using any glitter glue in this video. It is shocking. I know um, the world just shook when I announced that. <laughs> that I'm not using any glitter glue. It's hard to believe. I usually on this would fill every single one of these center flowers with glitter glue, but I just didn't this video. So um, there's your shocking update <laughs> in the craft world. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the um, pixie of this beautiful little flower frame. So you put the frame that I'm gluing down now, and then you can see that little frame in the middle, the... Um, the floral one. So those two layer together and that is how I got that beautiful purple frame. Now I am just cutting the frame, the outer edge of it, the solid image, to glue down that beautiful purple frame. So this little die set is really awesome and um, adds a lot of value to this kit. So and I think I could be wrong but I think Stephanie who owns she and Ken own Stamps of Life announced in a video recently that every card kit this year will have one of these A1 card bases. Um, so another little card base like this, it'll be different, but there'll be one in every card kit. So that is a tremendous value because you get a full die that cuts, uh, it's a little bit smaller card, but still a, a very decent sized card for card making. And I love these for enclosures. Um, but they are just a great size for your craft stash. All right, so I've added some glue here, and I am going to add this to this little panel. I don't glue it exactly straight, so I'm just going to come back at the end and trim this down the tiniest bit. But that is user error. <laughs> that was not the die's fault. That was my fault. <laughs> and so I'm just going to make a quick little nip on the side of there to fix my error. All right, and now I'm ready to glue this onto this gorgeous scallop base. I love how many scallops there are. You could cut that off um, the front of that and fold it in half and make a different, like an even tinier enclosure card. I should have tried that. Um, I love to, or make a tag or something. You can just do so much with these products. All right, so I've stamped the sending hugs. And now I want to add a few more flowers to my card. So these are some of those pre-printed ones I showed you in the beginning of the video. And I'm just kind of laying things out. Um, I'm not going to end up using the purple. I just really felt, I just really was loving the pink and purple. The pink and yellow, I should say, today. The pink and lemonade. That bright color is just giving me all the vibes of spring. And as we're in the middle of winter, I don't live anywhere, as a lot of you know, super, super cold, but it has been chilly. We don't have snow, so I don't have to worry about that element unless something really strange happens. Um, but it does get a little chilly here, and I like to be outside as much as I can. And so I look forward to those really long spring days to come that are nice and warm and I hope that they come soon. So these color, this color palette just makes me think that it is coming soon. I'm going to add some epoxy dots onto a couple of these beautiful little flowers. And that will finish off this card. How cute. You can make a bunch of those really, really quickly. All right. Now I love these stickers. And, and I have to confess, it was really hard for me to use them. <laughs> In this video, I, I, you know, I've talked about I like to hoard paper. I hoard a lot of things, but I really like to hold on to my pattern paper. But these stickers that Stamps of Life has been having the last few months, I have loved. Um, and especially these floral ones. I want to put them on the back of my phone, but there's not enough room. Although I did save, I think there's one or two small ones that I might be able to keep um, and fit on my phone. But I just think they're so pretty. So I'm going to use these to create a background, and I want them to be the star of the show because they're absolutely gorgeous. So I've got a piece of paper cut to four by five and a quarter, so a little bit smaller than the A2 card base. I'm going to just layer these um, flower stickers around, and then I'm going to trim off any excess. That's why I've got this little mat underneath in case they stuck. I didn't want them to stick to my mat, so I just wanted to be able to pull it up um, when I needed to. And then I'm just going around and placing my flowers in here, just kind of random, just very random. 
and I think they look so cute. So yes, I did save a purple flower, it looks like, and a little another little purple flower. So I'm hoping I can add those to the back of my phone case. Um, that is what I immediately thought of when I saw these stickers. <laughs> so I'm gonna I cut a piece of paper here a little bit. I think this is about two inches, and I'm gonna put that on the bottom to kind of ground that image. But I do, like I say, I wanted these flowers to be the centerpiece. And I thought the green was a little too heavy, and so I wanted to break that up with a little bit of lightness. So I added a strip of this um, little word section that says about the greetings, friend. And so that just kind of lightens up and balances a little bit of that image on the um, bottom. And I cut the greetings, friend. And again, I just really don't want to cover up those stickers. So I'm going to bring those sentiments words down into the lower part of my card so you can really see all of that floral goodness. I've got some more of my little foam squares here that I'm going to use to pop these up and then I can position these onto my card down below. And I used um, Kiwi is the green and Lemonade is the yellow and it fits just right right there. So greetings friend. So cute with just, and the camera's not gonna do these beautiful flowers justice. I'm just gonna say, they're so beautiful in person. And then I'll add that onto a white card base. And I am going to add one more element. I've got this little wooden flower. Again, I told y'all I just loved these wooden flowers. I love the wooden elements when Stamps of Life has them. They're always such good quality and really really cute and so I'm going to add one more of my epoxy dots to the center of that. I've got these adorable square sentiment stickers and I'm going to add one of these to the inside of my card and that way it is ready to go when I want to mail it. I'm so thankful to have you in my life. What a perfect card sentiment for sure. All right so I've got that wreath that I cut out earlier and then I'm also going to take the wreath outline and I'm going to cut that from the yellow, the lemonade that I have been um, digging this video. I'm going to line these up together and again taking a second to find that spot um, and then when I have that together I can adhere these together. So you've got that's a quick way if you want to have a layer underneath but have it open inside you can do that. I've got a little scrap paper of glitter paper from my craft stash from a video I made recently at Valentine's that I thought the colors worked beautifully so I just pulled a piece out of that out and then I'm going to take one of these stickers here and I'm going to lay it in there. I got, it's a little off, um, it's not exactly perfect like I wanted but um, I should have taken a second and maybe moved it down a little bit but I'd already stuck it down but I think it still looks pretty good and then I'm going to pop up the foam on there and that will help um, you to still be able to see the sentiment clearly. So sending hugs because I miss you. And I love that that fits right in the middle of this wreath. Okay, so I'm going to add all of this together. I've got some layers that I'm bringing in here. I'm going to use a piece of that grape cardstock. And I will add that onto this, the pattern paper onto the grape. And then that will go onto another card base. And that glitter paper is going to go on the left-hand side of my card. And then I can add my wreath to the middle. Super cute. Glitter paper is always a good thing. <laughs> so I didn't get my, I didn't use my glitter glue, but I did use glitter paper. So does that count for my sparkle in my video? I'm going to say that it does because I love my sparkle and my bling. All right. So let me add a piece of foam adhesive. These are the foam adhesive sheets that I love from Stamps of Life when I have a larger image to uh, pop up. It just makes it really quick and easy. So I'm going to pop my wreath into the middle. And here is one more wooden flower. I think I had a couple of left. Um, so I think I made maybe five cards and then I had a few of those left. So there's a good amount in there and I certainly enjoyed using them. I was thinking about using the green but I just really love that yellow on there. All right and here is this is the final card. So I stamped with that stamp set, the flower wreath, uh, the floral wreath, I stamped the image in black. And then I also added a few flowers on the inside of my wreath. Once I stamped the with love, 
I added some flowers onto the inside. I've really enjoyed filling the little wreath with a little something extra. And so um, I'm just going to go around here. I have one of my Spectrum Noir markers and I am going to color. I'm just kind of coloring. There's a light, a medium, and a dark pink. And I am just coloring these all around. Again, I've really been digging the pink and yellow in this video. And I thought I would make a pink wreath with some yellow accents. And so once I get all of these flowers colored, I will come back with a yellow marker and fill in the centers. And then I'll do some of the leaves um, of the other petals with yellow. So you can see I'm doing the centers here. Just really quick and easy. You could do a lot more shading if you wanted to, but I don't think it needs it because this wreath is beautiful. And then I'm going to do the flowers on the smaller flowers with yellow, and then I'll fill in any remaining elements with pink. And that will be this pretty, pretty wreath. And I think it's fun just to add those little extra flowers um, for a little touch more. I've got a little strip of paper from the paper pad in yellow. And I'm going to add that onto this card front, this card panel, and then I will glue that down. But I am going to add, um, I wanted to bring in a little bit more of color. And so I'm going to add a little bit of a color in a second. But I'm going to glue this onto this bubblegum card base, which coordinates well with the pink ink um, of the marker, I should say, that I chose. And then here is the ribbon that I decided to pull in, just a little bit more of that pink. And I've got some red line tape here that I'm going to put on the back, a nice sticky strong tape to add my ribbon to that will hold it down and then I can glue everything onto my card base. This is a little bit crooked, so what I like about the red line is I can move stuff. It's very strong once it's attached. But I do have the ability to kind of move things around for a minute. So that's really nice until I press it in there. And now I'll add some liquid adhesive here. Really, really generous, especially on the ribbon. And then attach that onto my card. And I'm changing it up. I, I chose a yellow card base on this one instead of white. I know I've been using a lot of white in this video. Okay, and here is another. I do have some more of these beautiful flowers that I'm loving. I'm going to take my marker and color the center and then I'm going to do a very, I think this is the probably light color. Um, if you wanted it darker, you could choose the darker color, but I just did a really light pink. It shows up a little better in person. It's not the darkest on, on camera, but I'm just doing a little quick color onto my flower, my wooden flower, and I'll add one more glue dot on here to finish that off. So pretty. Okay, loving that. And then I'm going to add one more of these stickers so my card will be ready to go. So those are great for inside sentiments. Okay, so thanks for staying with me. Here are the cards that I made. So we've got that with love that I used the stamp with, sending hugs, um, and then the wreath with the glitter paper. Got that sticker background using the uh, little stickers included. And then here is an easel card. So I hope you enjoyed these ideas. If you're interested in the card kit, check out the details below. If you have any questions about it, leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.